Welcome to Banyan Golf Club. The golf course was constructed in 1973 and we completed an extensive renovation in 2018. The golf course now delivers an exceptional playing experience for all ability levels. Banyan features seven different sets of tees. Players can now choose to play from more than 7,200 yards to less than 4,900 yards. One of Banyan's most special features is that homes are barely visible from the golf course, allowing players to focus on golf from the moment they set their tee in the ground on the first hole. Please enjoy watching a hole-by-hole -hole video tour of Banyan Golf Club with all of its natural beauty. Hole number one is a gentle par five to begin your round. The longer hitter can challenge the right fairway bunker and improve their chances of hitting the green in two. Most players will attempt to hit their tee shot just left of the bunker to the top of the hill. From there, a layup shot should be hit short of the left cross bunker for the best angle in. After successfully laying up, the approach shot to this hole is no gimme. The green has a lot of movement to it and is well protected by three bunkers on the right side. The best spot to chip from is long and left of this pin as the green slopes hard from back to front. The second hole is a sleeper par four. Visually, it doesn't look too tough, but find one of the three fairway bunkers or the trees and bogey will be a good score. An ideal tee shot will come to rest just short of the two left bunkers giving you a nice angle into this elevated green. The player will then be required to hit a high soft shot that avoids the two bunkers short in order to hold this green. There is room to run the ball up onto the green, but precision is required to do so. Try not to go too far left of this pin or your ball may roll off into a collection area. Hole number three. This beautiful par three plays slightly longer than its yardage most times of the year. An accurate tee shot is paramount here. Short will either put you in the bunker or the water and long is no bargain. The back bunkers are very penal as players will be required to hit a delicate shot downhill towards the water. A safe tee shot is left of the green as this will allow for an easier chip shot onto the surface. Hole number four. This short par four should not be overlooked. Water runs down the entire right side of this hole. Most players will hit their tee shots towards the bunkers on the left in order to set up a good angle into this elevated green. The second shot here is a tricky one. A bunker protects the front right portion of this green and creates a challenging pin location when it's placed in the back right. This green has a false front so don't be afraid to take one more club, but be careful not to hit it to the right, as the ball may cascade down into the water. Hole number five is a spectacular par five that dog legs slightly from left to right. A player's tee shot must avoid the two bunkers on the right and one on the left side of this fairway. From here, the longer player will face a predicament of whether or not to go for the green in two, as the second shot is all over water to this very undulated green. Most golfers will lay up near the left cross bunker just short of the water before taking their chances of attacking this green. There's a large bailout area to the left of the green, but the chip shot from there is no bargain, as it is played back towards the water. Hole number six. This tree-lined par three doesn't look that hard, but the three bunkers surrounding it beg to differ. Two bunkers protect the front of this elevated green while one guards the back left portion. Players can try to run the ball onto this green, but must be accurate. The safe play here is to take one extra club and try to play long and right of the flag. This will leave you the easiest chip shot to a green that runs from left to right and back to front. Number seven is another short par four that turns a little bit from right to left. With water running down the majority of the left side of this hole, a perfect tee shot will be hit towards the large fairway bunker on the right. From here, birdie should be on your mind. Players will have a shorter iron in their hand as they approach this well-bunkered, two-tiered green that slopes from back to front. 
It is important to try and keep the ball short of this pin in order to give yourself an uphill putt. Hole number eight is the longest par four on the course. This beast requires a good drive in order to have a chance to get there in regulation. One big bunker protects the left side of this hole, whereas large trees block the right. This green is also elevated with a bunker short and long of the putting surface. Most players trying to get close to this green in two will favor the right side of this hole. This will give you the best angle to chip onto the green, but good touch will be required. You will be faced with the decision of either trying to go high up and over the runoff or low into the hill. This green slopes from back to front and left to right. Hole number nine. This is a formidable par four, even though it is one of the straightest holes on the course. Tee shots will have to avoid the water and two small pot bunkers up the right side of this hole. A fairway bunker also protects the left side, but is a good target for most players' tee shots, depending on the wind. The second shot to this green needs to navigate the two bunkers short and one long left, so taking an additional club might be a good choice. Once on the green, this undulating surface presents some very interesting pin locations. Par on this hole to finish the front nine is a good score. Hole number 10. The longest par five on the property can play up to 640 yards from the back tee. Factor in that the prevailing wind is into your face and hitting this green in regulation can be a challenge. An ideal tee shot needs to split the bunkers that pinch in on both sides of the fairway. Players are then faced with the decision of trying to lay up either right or left of the bunkers positioned in the middle of the fairway. Your third shot will need to avoid a large bunker that protects the front right of this massive green. A word of advice, take one extra club and make sure you land the ball beyond the false front so that it doesn't come back down into the fairway. Hole number 11 is the true essence of a risk reward hole. A confident swing is a necessity when teeing off here. Players will need to choose how much of this dogleg left they are willing to cut off as they cross over this large body of water. The three fairway bunkers down the right side of the hole are good targets to aim at. After conquering the water, an approach shot to this well-bunkered green should be played short of the pin as the putting surface slopes severely from back to front. Going long of this green, will lead to a very difficult up and down. Hole number 12. This dogleg right par four requires an accurate tee shot to avoid one large fairway bunker on the right and three up the left side of this hole. It will also be evident that water can be found on either side of the hole with an errant tee shot. After finding the fairway, the second shot will be played to a two-tiered back to front sloping green that has bunkers surrounding it. This is a green that most players are better off trying to be short of the pin on. Number 13 is the longest par three on the course and features one of the most breathtaking backdrops at the club. This tee shot is played from the highest elevation on property. As a result, players should take one less club when hitting their tee shot downhill to this very wide green. It is important to avoid the two bunkers short and right of the green if you want to increase your chances of making par on the hole. A smart tee shot is to aim left of the bunkers in order to leave a straightforward chip shot back to the pin. Hole number 14. This beautiful par five dog legs slightly from right to left. A good tee shot will split the fairway bunkers that are situated on both the right and left sides of this hole. Longer players can challenge the inside of the dog leg by taking it over the left bunker. The layup shot or second shot to this green is not easy. With water running down the entire right side of the hole and in front of the green, players need to favor the left side. The green is guarded by a small pot bunker on the left and one very large bunker along the water's edge on the right. This enormous green is very undulating and requires the player to be on the correct level in order to avoid a three putt. Hole number 15 is a fairly straightforward par four where a well-positioned tee shot will afford most players a chance to get home in two. Fairway bunkers up both sides of the hole need to be avoided off of the tee, 
Otherwise, holding this well-bunkered elevated green may pose a problem. A perfect approach shot will come in high and split the two front bunkers. Finding the back bunker will challenge the best players as the green runs away from you, sloping from back to front. Hole number 16, our signature par three. This stunning hole will test all ability levels with a demanding forced carry tee shot over the water. The water also wraps around the left side of the hole to catch any shots that miss the target. Two bunkers are located in front and in back of this green, which adds to the difficulty of finding the putting surface. Once on the green, players are faced with navigating a spine that bisects the front and back portion of it. A smart tee shot here is to play short and right of the green. This will allow for an easy chip shot to the hole. Hole number 17, a beautiful par four that requires a precise tee shot to avoid the water and small fairway bunker up the right side of the hole and two well positioned bunkers down the left. After conquering this feat, players that are going for the green are required to hit a shot over the water to this large undulating green. The hole does give the player an option to play around the water, but an accurate shot is needed to pass through this small opening. One large bunker protects the front left of the screen, and two additional bunkers guard the right side. The par 4 18th is a great finishing hole that can make or break your round. The hole turns slightly from right to left and requires an accurate tee shot to avoid the bunker on the left side of the fairway. Don't hit it too far right though, as to avoid being blocked out by the large trees. Once in the short grass, players are faced with a difficult second shot to hit a green that has a bunker and water to the left of it. Most people will bail out to the right, but a tough chip shot over a large runoff will require great touch to save par.